The second exercise in set A, like I said, set A is all about, well this week, is all about glute activation, quad activation, control work. So I'm going to give you the one-legged balance exercise. Now you probably think, oh, this is a, you know, this is a sort of surgery exercise, this is a yeah, ankle exercise. This one is really, really good for telofemoral pain problems or patellofemoral weakness sufferers because it teaches you control and stability which is what you need on one leg. Now this exercise, you did this before on the floor, now you have to do it on a BOSU. So what you do is start off just trying to balance there with one foot on the back and you can see I'm sort of moving around trying to find my balance there and it takes a little while to get the brain worked out how to stabilize that, then you're aiming for one leg off. So I've got to try at this point here keep my knee bent and you can see my VMO is working so keep my knee bent, keep my knee in a line which is going to teach me just to stack straight down and I need to clench my buttock. So my glutes on I need my core on here so I'm trying to turn on a bit of pelvic floor and talk to you at the same time glute on and VMO on so I'm doing not a heavy amount of work at the ankle. Some people just do too much work at the foot and they start cramping in the foot and too much work in the ankle. I need a little bit of foot, a little bit of ankle, bit of knee, bit of glute, bit of core. Okay, so you're trying to use the whole chain of that leg to balance on one leg. That's really important for people doing sport, people who are doing one-legged work, okay, and to try and get that control because that, just that static work, will help you stop your knee rolling in, okay? Because you can't let your knee roll in when you're on one of those things, okay? You just throw yourself out. So doing work on that is really good. So that's why it's in the program, okay? So there's your first two from set A. Now